Hello, it is my newest play. I wonder what it could be. Oh, I don't know. I mean, Tot's right there, but... Well, let's just assume that you open the video for someone, or something, or someone open it for you. Yeah. Because that seemed to be logic that a lot of Let's Plays go by. They're just all like, what game could it be? So, I'm I'm guessing, because that seems like the most logical conclusion to me. Unless they're just being completely thoughtless about it. This... I want you to know this is probably going to be something of a side Let's Play, maybe. Depends. Because I'm only really doing this, but aside from just really wanting to do this game, I'm thinking that uh, it's because my amazing fun subscriber is playing it right now, and I thought I'd just um, play it a bit because in case I just forgot what to do, then I might be able to figure it out again, just remember, and then I could um, say, well, look at the video, it's there, have to do it. Uh, except there's just one little problem of never actually completed the N64 version. I, I completed the Xbox Live Arcade version, which is quite a bit easier because the notes don't disappear when you exit the level. But I should be able to do it. <laughs> I mean, I've come close, I've come very close, but the last few notes always, um, escaped me. But yeah, Bandicazoo. Wait, yeah, I, did I already say that? Yeah, I was gonna wait until the title, but fuck. Look how out of sync this opening is, it's still going. I, I don't know what the fuck's going on here. I, I don't know why, I don't know if we'll be seeing more of this, but... Hey, I'm an amateur, what can you say? Maybe I need to re-download it, but I can't be fucked. I mean, I only just downloaded the emulator, so I don't think it's that, so it might be the game um, wrong itself. Anyway, uh, let's go. You know, I'm just, yeah, gonna be recording for, hmm, which, which one should we select? Because I always select this one, but I'm thinking maybe I should do this one. Hmm. Although, this is a nice one, so, uh... Which one should I choose? Um... Everyone's just yelling at the computer screens for which one to choose. I think everyone chooses this one, and uh, I've seen this one get used, but I've never seen anyone use this one, so fuck it, why not? Why not? Then the Game Boy just shows how old this game is, but it's also an amazing game. Yeah, I'm going to be recording for 30 minutes because I don't know how out of sync it's going to go for this, because I think this might take up more CPU or something, which is generally... Uh, more powerful than uh, PlayStation emulator or Minecraft because it seems like it because it's so much more glitchy, so much more out of sync. I mean, this isn't the recording being out of sync. This is the actual game being out of sync. I mean, touch wood, it doesn't seem that bad so far, but it just grosses me out. They're merciful enough to not actually show anything on a finger though. Yeah, so Banjo Kazooie, um Yeah, look how fucking out of sync the music is. It's, oh, it's so out of sync, I can't what the fuck's going on. Oh well, I guess we'll just have to tolerate that. Um It's like the opening of the Xbox Live Arcade Banjo Tui. Um but yeah, Banjo Kazooie is my second favourite game with Apescape being my favourite. So it was of course like high on the list for games for me to let's play. Now this is the only time you'll see Granny not rhyme in the game. I guess she was just so angry that she didn't think about it. Here we have Spiral Mountain, a lovely little place. Well except the big ugly witch head on the side of the mountain, but let's just give it all that. go wrong here, it's just a wonderful situation. Mm, you lazy bastard Banjo, which is our hero, and that is our co-hero Kazooie, who I think is quite a bit more cool than Banjo, but that's just my opinion. Oh no! Oh, 
me an infamous pose right there. Is he really so blind that he thinks that would look like her brother? Well, they do constantly make fun of his eyesight. I don't think so. Are you kidding me? He's pretty dim as well. Oh gosh, what's going on out there? Kind of want to see it. Two's pretty tough actually. Grunt is no lightweight. Figuratively and literally. That picture on the wall is actually of um, Fungus Forest, I think it's called. I think the one they ended up making in Donkey Kong 64 was Fungi Forest. That's Fungus Forest. It's a, it was a level they were going to use in this game, but they ended up not. And they went with a click like wood instead. Okay, so we're banjo and uh, fuck. Okay, we can run side to side. We can run side to side. Oh yes, we can. We can run side to side like it's nobody's business. But we can't run the other way. Oh shit. There we go, that's better. Now I can actually move. Oh, um... Okay, yes, fair enough, fair enough. Well, controls are awkward. Yeah, there we go, that feels a bit more natural. Very short sighted, you can stick a fucking witch for a bear. So to enter the conversation. So if you hold A, you can speed up the text, but I don't know if I'll be doing that because I'm commentating. <laughs> Calm down, it's fine. Just because you got kidnapped by an evil witch. What you got there? Lol, no. I'm good. Well, I've already played this game lots of times, so... I don't need any training. So, I guess we'll just look around Sparrow Mountain for a bit. Look these guys. Hmm, maybe I shouldn't have put the B button on B, I think it feels more natural on X. I mean, I think that I set up other N64. I don't know, I might change it. I can't remember what it is on the uh, Xbox Live Arcade one, so. Jeez, this is inverted, but it's the only one that feels natural. Oh! Honeycomb pieces. Um, I think there are six of these in Sparrow Mountain. If you get enough, well, it's going to explain it now. Collect six of us to increase your energy bar. So basically, you get more maximum health. Whoa! That's not supposed to happen. I just pause and the screen goes all fucked up. Alright, yeah, there are actually six in here. And I believe they're all fairly easy to find, so might as well just find all of them. It's not only an easy to start a level, it's very, very generous. I mean, this, you don't have to collect these, this is just because, well, more health is always good. Uh, I can't remember how exactly... Yeah, it's in that. Uh, I think I'm going to change the control. Alright, there we go. Now, I think that'll feel more natural. Alright. Do we have this movie yet? Yeah, we do. It's been a while since I've played this, but I have played it a lot. I mean, yeah, I've only completed it once, but I, I have played it a lot. Even if I wasn't accomplishing much. 
I think it's on one of these trees another one is. Oh, I'm pretty sure there's one down here, isn't there? Yep. Yeah. Should find and cut all of these. More health is very, very welcome. Now when you're in the water, press B to uh, have these long strokes and A to have these small ones. Stress this for when you're like maneuvering around carefully and this is when you just want to get somewhere fast. You know why it's still showing my oxygen? That was ancient history when I was in the water. Get with the times, man. Man, I can't believe I'm actually doing three different let's plays right now. And it's, go it's gonna be fucking four once I start Crash Bandicoot 2. Unless I end up, um, playing, um, if my, if my subscriber plays, uh, quick enough for me to justify more parts of this. And this might end up being my main one, I don't know. Depends. Uh, if you jump over here for another one, I believe. Yep, and there's one more. Oh, extra life in there. Don't think extra lives serve much purpose in this game, but might as well get them anyway. Oh, yep, just like I thought, there's one in a tree. There we go. And now we have more health, so we might as well enter the witch's lair with 6 health, as opposed to 5. Now supposedly, I mean I just read this on Bandicoot Wiki, shortly after Nuts and Bolts came out, there was a, a Facebook page for Kazooie and they seem to have taken it off now because the link led to nowhere. Why the fuck would they do that? Yes, we're ready to tackle Gruntilda or Grunty, whichever you want to call her, or just the witch. Right, so he fixed the bridge. I I'm not sure how. I'm not sure. Did he just cut down a tree or something? Whatever. He just had spare wooden planks around on ropes. But yeah, um, apparently it said, although rare. It's not the same people working on Bangazoo anymore, that it's not the same people making that symbol, so I don't know if you can or it's canon, but apparently there's a story behind how Bangazoo met. But um yeah, it's amazing. Longo, he is a very cool guy. Now, we gotta go save her, she's in an unfortunate predicament. I'm not sure if it's intentional, but those windows are like shaped like candy cones. Alright, so this is Grandchilder's lair. And, ooh, what's up there, I wonder? Another honeycomb piece? Surely there's gonna be more in this game now, it's not. It is. The most important item in the game, to be honest. A jiggy. You need jiggies to unlock the levels, and well, obviously, if you can't unlock the levels, you can't progress through the game. So you'll need to be collecting a lot of those, a lot of them. There we have our first level, Mumbo's Mountain, but we can't get in yet. Shit, I just revealed the name for. Oh well, as long as I don't spoil anything for Megan, it's fine. She's already been in this level. Alright. Alright. To enter the world shown on the picture, you must complete the jigsaw puzzle. Yeah, I'm not saying exact, very well. <laughs> Goggle boy. <laughs> Just insults him casually. Alright, so you press B to not enter any, but we want to enter any because we would like to go to Mama's Mountain. Oh, yay, sparkles. Okay. Not a sparkly toilet though.
there is may just test your wit. Well, you aren't very fit. Whoa, what, what are those numbers? I don't know, this is a weird aiming there. Oh, and Granty's gimmick of rhyming is awesome. Just saying. Right, so... What are we doing first? Let's essentially do this. Let's collect this dude. Shit, if we can. Yeah, he's a Jinjo. Click five of them a level and you get a Jiggy. Uh, um, Granty's just trapped in there with magic, I guess. And these are like the most dastardly part of the game. But I'll, I'll try to collect all the ones in this level. It should be easy enough because this is a very simple level. I mean, it's the first proper world, so I will say this is the easiest world because obviously it's nowhere near as easy as um, Sparrow Mountain, but that's more of like a tutorial area than anything else. Oh, we're seeing through the wall. Well, I did see through the wall for a split second. And like most first levels, it is of course a grassy area, which is rather simple to traverse. So yeah, you're going to be needing to collect a lot of these notes, so... You should try to get a lot of them. Go away, leave them. No, it's not. Um, I'm not sure if I need it. Yeah, I don't. Might as well collect the jiggy from this guy while we're over here. All you do is just make him throw the origins at these the oranges at these switches. Like so. Oh shit. Don't touch my blocks. What are you, a Minecraftian? And we have another jiggy just like that. Yep, there are ten of them in each world. You don't need every one of them, but you need quite a few of them. Oh yeah, I remember what this guy wants. <laughs> well, isn't he demanding? But he's gonna give us a jiggy, so might as well give him what he wants. <laughs> he's just completely freaking out over it. I'm not sure if this saves automatically or if I need to use save state, so... I remember it not saying before, but I think it might, I might be fucking out of all the cheats I was using. I was just using so many cheats on this, I was like playing this clunger and all crazy shit. And it was fucking up my game, I think. It's making this sky all jacked up and shit. And clunger is slow as fucking me. Where are the eggs? Because we can learn to use us as ammo. But first we'll need to talk to bottles. Casual insults. Uh, oh, I saw that pretty gross. Oof, yeah, you shouldn't have asked. Oh, wow, well, that's terrible, exciting. 50, why thank you, bottles. Alright, now, some more over here. And oh, another click. Whoop. more of that later. Okay, let's hit the switch. Oh wait, no, we, we need another move, don't we? I don't have it yet. Shit. <laughs> I, thought, I thought you had it all the way. Well, we'll go hit that later then. Alright. So... Shit. Well, this is a relatively simple boss fight. Shit. Except I'm getting on doing it. I'm not used to playing the anime, that's my that's my excuse. Hey! Bastard! Alright, sounds like no. Doesn't sound like a gorilla. Why is Kazooie eat every jiggy? I do not know. Maybe she thinks they're cheese. Maybe they are. I mean, yep. Never says they're made out of gold. Could be cheese, could be honey. Could be banana. Man, talk about such crazy things here. Let's play a band of Kazooie, let's do it. 
don't we? This, don't we? What? All important notes. Give away those guys because. Oh, that's just simple to get you. You just, just sit in there. So I guess we have like Stonehenge now. So let's go talk to Bottle to celebrate the event. There's another move. And this is a very, very useful move. It also speeds you up when you're um, walking. So if you're impatient like myself, you'll be using this a lot. But then you have to deal with that sound the whole time, so you might not want to. And also you have less control. I don't know, I might not use it as much. I might try to use it less, because I've always used it loads. Yeah, not on pots like this, probably won't use it, but when I'm just going across a huge area, I might. Alright, so, another Jinjo for our troubles, and more eggs. Yay. And, uh... More notes. And it's going to be useful here so that we can climb up this steep cliff. And it is, um, the controls, the control stick is a lot more sensitive than, uh, than 64 one on this because I'm using the Xbox 360 controller. Which, by the way, was a bitch con to configure just because I didn't know where the hell to, um, select. It's pretty obvious now that I think of it. But it wasn't as obvious as on the PlayStation earlier. Really. Need the first note door. Yeah, that means nothing to us right now because we haven't actually come across that yet. But uh, it's useful that he tells you that. Basically, note doors are why you need notes, other than to get moves. I think he requires notes. I, I don't remember. But um, yeah, note doors are scattered throughout the layer, and you have to. Get enough notes to break him, otherwise you can't progress to the next parts of there. And obviously you need to, be, so you need those notes. I actually find the most annoying tedious part of the game, but whatever. <laughs> With my assistance, you'll be able to get all a hundred in this level. If you know where they are. All right, this dude is deceased, and um, pretty sure. Bottles is around here somewhere. Where is it? Me, Choo Choo. Why do they all talk in third person? Alright, so they want blue stones. They want to get stoned, but all we've got here are eggs, so. Oh well. Chip. This is very, very awkward to control. Jeez, what a difference that is. You feed them and they explode. Makes sense. Thank you. Oh wait, wait, shit! I just realised something. Yeah, he kind of needed those guys. <sighs> oh well, I can always be in that level. All right, you learn that move, are you, balls? Are you? Alright, jump in the air and then press Z, and that is a very useful move, which we needed uh, Yep, we will be using it a lot. Oh, whoa! Fancy that, I thought we were going to see something actually surprising. I thought it might heal us, because I can't remember how much health we have. I think we've got full health. Right, notes. Very, very, very nice. And eggs, yay! More eggs, always good. Eggs is sighting, huh? And uh, 69 eggs, yay! Yeah. 69 eggs, 69 notes. Oh, hello. Deceased, okay. Um, another nought. A ginger? Just need a purple one now. And we've got all the gingers on this world. Yeah, it's a pretty, pretty easy world. It's quite deceiving, it makes it look like the game's easy, but <laughs> the levels get way harder, way harder. Like, the second level is just way harder than this one, even. 
but they just keep on getting higher. So it's just like ridiculous. Alright, um, six. Of course, if I had actual viewers, they'd be like, Hey, this game's easy, you're a noob. And yes, I am a noob. Get over it. Um, okay. Uh, might as well go in here. Now well, I've only got two, so we can't really do anything with him. Yes, he's Mumbo. He the shaman and he is awesome. Alright, so you find the tokens and Mumbo will uh, turn you into something. It's very, very awesome. Now Mumbo had a backstory in the instruction booklet, but for some reason they didn't say it in the game. I think it's because they were going to give him more of a backstory, but they decided not to, but it's still in the instruction booklet for some reason. Basically, he was actually Granny's teacher, but um, when she turned all corrupt and stuff, she uh, turned his face into a skull, and it said that when she's defeated, his skull breaks. So that's, that's his, like, not, not the exact words, but that's what it says about him in the instruction booklet. Well, when she's overthrown for good is the exact wording it uses. Oh wait, no, I'm not used to this. Um, used to the days of me using right analog stick, how long ago that was. Alright, so we need three more Mamba tokens. In order to get turned into what he turns us into in this level. Maybe two notes. Yeah, it was a bit positioned for the C pad to be on the right analog stick, but it was just too hard to control, so I think they do somehow make it not hard to control in uh well thank you. Um the extra club arcade version, but this is an emulator, so you know. Didn't specifically redesign the game for an Xbox 360 controller. He's still up here, still being a jerk. Um, what I was going to say, yeah, I'll, I'll say something later, yeah, I'll say something later, who'd have seen that coming, I can't even get up here, because I'm patient at giving me moving forward, there we go, alright, um, I guess I'll end the part showing off what this, oh, I'll just fall down, on top of the world. Um, yeah, those switches, there's one in each level and it causes a Jiggy to appear in Granny's lair. So that's lovely. Um, okay, that's it for this part of Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. Next time, we will be doing Banjo-Kazooie stuff and it will be amazing, won't it? Yeah, see you next time.